Hello, it's Joey66 coming at you from beautiful Superior, Nebraska, as usual. Uh, it is a Wednesday morning. Uh, this morning, I usually get up with Kim in the morning before she leaves for work, but today I was extremely tired, so I uh, slept right through it. But what woke me up was the uh, 392 Hemi engine starting in the in the garage when she left for work. I wondered why she decided to take the Challenger. Uh, she was upset with me for not getting up with her before she went to work. I usually do and have a cup of coffee or whatever if I'm home. So anyway, I thought maybe she was just upset with me and decided to take that car because she knows that I like driving that better than the Tesla. But uh, as I got up and got around today and uh, went out to drive the Tesla, I hopped in and it starts telling me that I'm about to hit something. It's continually telling me that I'm really close to hitting something. Well, I wasn't. I'm just sitting in the car. I'm far from everything. And uh, it's telling me that I'm about to hit something. So I get out to see what's going on. And let me show you what happened here. Okay, you'll have to um, excuse the uh, filthiness of the front of the car. It's covered in bugs. But um, it's been a couple of weeks since I had a chance to debug the front end for her. I've been super busy and then sick. So I uh, planned on doing that this week. But she took the Challenger day, left me with this. I was wondering why. I found out when I got inside that something was wrong and one of the parking sensor things has fallen inside the bumper. Uh, I tried looking for a way to get in there and get it out but it is inside so without taking the bumper off the car I am not getting to that. So that's good news. Let me show you what it does when you get in the car to go. Let's see what it does here. Hopefully it'll uh, give my thing. Now it should start telling me that I'm about to hit something. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's telling me that I'm 15 inches from hitting something and I'm not. Oh. So there it is. It's telling me that we're about to hit something over there because it's uh, sensing it's inside of the bumper, I guess. So uh, yeah, that's a drag. Um, Later on, I sent her a picture of it and said, hey, look what happened. She said, uh, no shit, Sherlock. That's why I took the Challenger. So I thought maybe she took the Challenger because she was upset with me for not getting up with her. But uh, apparently she took it uh, because uh, she got in and this thing had been doing its thing. And uh, there's what happens. Um, now, she has called uh, Tesla service already. And Tesla service is going to be out here Friday. To fix the problem, now I looked it up. Uh, other people have had the same issue, and it's a fairly common issue. I guess it doesn't take much to push those in. So uh, people say if they hit anything like a rock or something, hits it square square on it, it'll knock it right in. So apparently that's what happened, and from what I'm understanding, it's going to be $175 to fix. At least that's what everybody else has been getting charged. So we shall see. I'll uh, make a video hopefully Friday when the guys get here. You can see the uh, Tesla mobile service. We're about 200 miles from a service center, so... Uh, you can get mobile service they'll come and fix your car apparently this is one of the things they can actually fix with the mobile service which is nice so i'll uh, try to make a video friday at least a little bit show you how that goes you know it's a little disappointing i think to think that uh something as small as a little rock or something flying up would uh knock that thing right back into the car like that uh there's the other side the other one on the other side look at all those nasty bugs but uh just pushing on it a little bit yeah it doesn't feel real sturdy a little disappointed with some of the quality issues here. Look at the uh, look at the fitment of the of the frunk there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You can tell that it's not lined up right. I think that's a pretty easy fix that I can do myself. I just haven't gotten around to it, but it's a uh, it's a little out of alignment. The fit and finish there on the on the frunk. The gaps are all different all around it. So yeah, a few things with the car that aren't great, but uh, overall I do like it and. Uh, this is the first real issue we've had, and yeah, it kind of sucks. We'll see uh, if they get here, how long it takes, and uh, how much we get charged. I uh, will let you know. Apparently, that's not a warranty issue, since something flew up and hit it, apparently. So that's a great way to start the day. I'm just having one of those days, guys, but it'll be okay. Uh, there's worse things in life. Uh, the first real problem is my, my Tesla is broken. Darn it. <laughs> I used to drive around in some uh, $200 cars a lot, so, you know, or $500 cars. So I guess I can't complain too much. So anyway, try to look on the bright side. Like I said, I will keep you guys up to date on that and probably do a little bit of video on Friday when they come. Uh, if they don't mind me, if they do mind me, I'll just be sneaky about it. But anyway, see how the uh, Tesla mobile service thing works. I'm not really sure. I never had to call them before. 
Should be interesting. Maybe make a decent video. This is Joey66 with a real quick one about the uh, Tesla quality. I don't know if it's a quality issue or not, but call it what you will. Anyway, I thought it was kind of, uh, it was car related, so we'll make a video on it. Anyways, I hope that she gets my Challenger back okay, our Challenger back okay, and uh, hopefully there's not too big of a fight brewing when she gets home, because uh, I think we're both a little frustrated with each other today, so we'll see what happens. Joey66, I'll see you if uh, Kim doesn't kill me first. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the video, guys. Thanks.